have a new battery in. I have my drink of a choice, which is the cucumber mint sparkling water from Target. I've got my scissors and I have a huge box that my dog Oliver is trying to help me open, AKA chewing on the corners um, here. And I am so excited to share with you guys this Timu haul. So if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I have, I should say unfortunately, because it is unfortunate, but I have become addicted to Timu. I've ordered a lot of stuff off of there. Um, good thing I'm about to be going out of town. So I'll have to like put the pause <laughs> on checking that site, but it doesn't help that you can sign up for text messages to get a discount. Um, I think it's just off your first order though, but then they like keep, you know, they're, they're enticing you and pulling you back in. But I've got so many different things going on in this haul. Uh, super excited to share it with you guys, but I'm also really excited because I am collabing again with Miss Brittany Rose. Her channel is fantastic. If you guys have not checked it out, I have collabed with her in the past. Um, she has definitely become a newer friend of mine. I cannot, I really am I'm trying to work it out to where we can meet in person, but we'll see when and where that happens. But I'll definitely be sharing with you guys over on Instagram if that does happen this year. Otherwise, hopefully in the future, sometimes we can, sometime we can get together. But her channel is very similar to mine. She shares a lot of grocery hauls. She's actually been in the process of like redoing how she grocery shops and meal planning and all the things. So she's got all those videos on her channel. She redid her pantry, which looks amazing. And I think, well, when I'm filming this, cause I'm pre-filming, cause again, going out of town, but she just recently shared a like breakfast a freezer meal video that I just finished watching. So it's getting me in gear to get some meal prep done before I leave. But I would really, really appreciate if you guys would go check out her channel. I will have that linked below um, and give her some love. Tell her that I sent you. All right. So let me go ahead and she's sharing a Timu haul as well. So I'm excited to see what she picked up. So let me go ahead and start opening this so I can show you guys all these goodies because it is a fairly large haul. Also, I always forget to do this. As I'm opening, I have like a smaller box and then a big box. Um, I always forget to introduce myself because my channel is Lemonade Mom, but not all of you guys are, um, you know, are OGs, have been with me since the beginning. So yes, my name is Vanessa. If you are coming over from Brittany's channel, hi, I am a mom of four. However, only three of them still live at home. Our oldest moved out at the end of last year. Um, and like I already said about Brittany's channel, I share a lot of grocery hauls, really hauls in general, because that's what YouTube likes me for. So I just kind of, I stick with what they promote. <laughs> um, but I do share a few other things as well. Um, sometimes I'll share like recipes and vlogs are, you know, every now and then, but Anyway, I would love for you guys to stick around. All right, all right, I've got the first thing open. So if you guys watched my last Timu haul, um, I wanted to get a variety of sunglasses, kind of just to mix and match um, with whatever I'm wearing or what I'm doing that day. So I've got another pair here, and these are super cool. They are clear, as you can see, and then, They've got the fun, can you guys see yourselves? You're like propped up on a cart. We've got computers and stuff set up behind you. Um, but you can see like the colors on here, really, really pretty. So I'll go ahead and try them on. Oh yeah, I like those. I like the way they feel. They cover my eyes and they are super lightweight. So happy with these. And this is like all sorts of random stuff. Sometimes when I'm shopping online, there's a theme. I'm shopping for something in like specific. Um, there's a whole bunch of little like different things in this one. I guess there's a lot of like out and about road trip summer stuff, hence the sunglasses and this thing, which I'm very excited about. So I kind of um, went the cheaper route with the kids. I bought them the little battery operated like foam blade fans from the Dollar Tree. I have them in the car. Um, that way if they're getting warm or out and about, we can grab those and they can use them. I saw this on Timo and I was like, oh, mommy, mama needs that. <laughs> so I picked this up for myself. If it works great, then maybe I'll upgrade and get some for everybody in the family because this is very convenient. So this is called a neck fan. You just keep it on your neck and I think it's, 
I want to say I was gonna say battery operated, but everything nowadays is USB. So it did come with a little USB cord. Um, no instructions or anything came in this box. So I am going to give this a try. Oh, it's already turned, but you can see here the spots here where the air comes out. <laughs> it's summer already in my house. Kids are done with school. Um, so whenever I film now, they're gonna be around, and one of, one of my daughters is like, oh sure, spend a little bit more on you, mom. So she's she's giving me the stink eye. Like, I want one of those. They're definitely into like the cool gadgets, but I wanted to try it out first. I wasn't gonna spend more than $1.25 for five people in the house until I knew it worked. So I just got the one to try out. All right, so those two items shipped separately in a smaller box, and now I've got a massive box here. And I ordered so many things, it's actually coming in three separate orders or three separate deliveries. I'm gonna have to cut this more. Um, so after I'm done with this box, I'll have another one as soon as it arrives. It's supposed to come today. So that's why I was like, let me go ahead and start the filming and then you know we'll finish it up hopefully later tonight. The second I saw this, I had to pick it up for Rose. She is obsessed with Stitch. And I thought this would be great for her to just a little fun little project for her to do over the summer. Um, even if she wanted her brother could Bryce could do this with her because he loves to put Legos together or even Pearl. But I did pick this set up with Rose in mind. And obviously you can see there it's like stitch, but it's also a like a pencil box. So it's got the stitch figure and then it has the little cup here. Can you see that that's a cup with another little figure on there? Um, and then in the cup you can put pencils or markers or whatever it just says the creative assembly building blocks i'll have as much as i can listed in the description box if you guys want to like pick something specific or click on a specific link um and the, you guys can see the price and stuff like that i i used to pop up prices but they change and it depends on what kind of discount you get something everything like that so you guys can just click on the link and check it out all right i got quite a bit of clothing this time some of it is for my oldest Paige, who is no longer you know living with us she has moved out of the home um but her birthday is coming up and she requested some specific type or style of clothing so i utilized timu hopefully it all works out otherwise i didn't pay like a whole lot for it their returns or to make returns on timu is super super easy uh, i have returned a few things and only I think like one of them I actually had to mail back to them but they gave me like it was free shipping they gave me a shipping label for me to print out um, but as far as any other returns that I've made I they just said to even if it wasn't broken there were a few things that were broken but a few things I just didn't like the quality so I started a return and they were like just keep it donate it do whatever so I just put it in my donation pile we've got like one that's always growing in our garage and whenever the specific box is full we take it and donate it somewhere so anyway half the time they're just like keep it don't worry about it and it's been really easy to work with them all right so as i say that like being with clothing items for Paige, this was actually not for Paige. <laughs> this is for pearl my daughter pearl she is really into mushrooms right now and i saw these black shorts i thought they were super cute so i went ahead and picked them up hopefully she likes them but it's got the mushroom print right there they look super comfortable they, um they are pretty thick too they do have pockets and the drawstring so picked those up for her okay i was trying to figure out what this was but i forget it's a towel we are having a swimming pool built installed whatever in our backyard um, so I've been trying to get a little bit for everybody. Oh, okay, I think I got, yeah. So I got this one for Pearl. And she really likes dinosaurs. So this towel has dinosaurs all over. And I have you guys zoomed in pretty far. So you guys can like see super close the items. So obviously this is way too big <laughs> for this screen. But it's just got a bunch of dinosaurs on it. Um, they have, and we don't need like, anything fancy or super absorbent because you know I know the kids are just gonna be in and out all the time once that pool is ready for them to jump in so I'm just getting stocked up trying to get some of their faves um, I also have some of the like Turkish towels I got off of Amazon that are like the quick drying ones for the adults but for the kids they're not gonna care so I did get that for Pearl 
Okay, this is a completely random item that I just saw. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna open it so I can show you one, um, but I'm gonna keep them in here. So for Christmas last year, my really good friend Kira over at 50 Shades of Mom, she has a channel, um, she got me this cookie stamp that has our family's last name on it. And I, I think it says like made with love from um, the Elphick family or, or something like that. And I'm going to use it this holiday season for baking cookies and batches and stuff and gifting to people. So I saw these little papers on Timu and I went ahead and picked them up. I think I got a hundred. It doesn't tell me how many are on here, but I think it's a set of 100 and they did come in different sizes. So I got the 14 by 14, but they do, like I said, they had a variety of sizes. I thought this was good for either like a couple smaller cookies or one, if I wanted to make like a bigger one, I could put them in here and I just thought the packaging was super cute. So it's got the little polka dots all over it. I thought that, oh, it does. Okay. I'm not going to pull that off. Wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that back on. Put that back on. At first I was like, oh, I thought that they it had like a sticker on there that I could close it. Um, and then I was feeling it. I was like, no, it doesn't, but it does. There's a little piece that I pull off and then you can close it up and it is set to go. But like I said, not, not Christmas for a while, but I saw them and I was like, oh, I really like them. So I went ahead and picked them up and now I don't have to worry about it later on. But like just... You can find so many things like it just blows my mind a bunch of random stuff and to think the very first haul i was like no nope, not for me but once you get into their site they do have a a lot of stuff and the shipping really doesn't take that long at all all right i've got some more clothing here oh this is for Paige for sure so what Paige asked me for um well i asked her like hey give me some ideas for your birthday and she's she said she was looking for skirts and some feminine looking blouses or like tank tops. So I saw this skirt and she said like neutral colors. So I saw this skirt, thought it was really, really cute. It looks a little, a little big, but we'll see. Like I said, she can try everything on and then it'll be probably, it might be too late to return anything, but I'll just donate them or, or she can donate them if she has a friend or something that could use them. So I went ahead and picked this one up nice and neutral, but does have a little bit of a feminine look to it and everything. I'm not separating anything. So like, I know I got more for Paige. I know I got more towels, but I'm just pulling things out of here. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got two of these shirts just in different colors. Oh, here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and open both of these up so I can show them to you. So a lot of their clothing, you can pick different colors. Like they just have different colors to pick from. So this shirt, I got two of, <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so one is for Rose, one is for Pearl. This one is for Rose. I would have gotten like a purple, but because that's her favorite color, I got Pearl's favorite color, but they didn't have it in purple, but they don't need like a, a whole bunch of the same color shirt, right? So I got this in the Heather Gray. I love the print. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you know, basically everybody in the house has their own cat. <laughs> We've got a lot of cats um, and they're super cute and playful and it's been fun adding, you know, more love to our family. So I got this, it says I'm busy, but the cat is like surrounded by food. And I think that's supposed to be like a controller, maybe their phone. Um, because they do the cat does have headphones on but I thought that was super cute I love the pastel colors so I got this for Rose this is definitely going to be big on her um, the sizing on Timu you, you just kind of got to take a gamble um, I this is all women's I think this is a women's small where's the package I'm pretty sure I got Rose a women's small yes women's small and then I got Pearl a medium I might have got her a small no I got her a medium because they also like their shirts to be oversized. So I got the gray one for Rose and then Pearl's favorite color is green. So I did go ahead and get her the green. I thought the print looked really good on the green. So I got that for her, but it's the same exact thing. Like I said, a lot of their clothing come in different colors, which is nice. They have a lot of options and a wide variety. Oh my gosh, okay. These, these look a little like not Disney, <laughs> but they're super cute. I think Rose is going to enjoy them. So I think it was the last haul that I shared. Hold on, I need scissors to open this one. Okay, in the last haul that I shared, I got the 
outfit that resembled Wednesday, the character Wednesday from the, the show out on Netflix because Rose really likes Wednesday. She likes to dress up. She, she does that little dance sometimes. It's really cute. Um, but she also loves Stitch and I wasn't for sure what she wanted to be for Halloween yet. So, and she likes to dress up still, not as often as she used to, but a little bit. So I went ahead and got the Wednesday outfit for her. And then on Amazon, if I remember, I'll try to link it down below just in case you guys have kids in the same boat or, or you want to check it out. But on Amazon, I ordered a full, almost like a onesie style pajama, but it's the character Stitch from like the Lego set that I showed you. She really likes the Disney Stitch character. Um, so I ordered that in case she wanted to be Stitch for Halloween or she could also just wear that around or whatever. Um, but it's like, it's not a footed one. It doesn't have shoes or anything like that. And then I saw these on Timu and I had to order them for her. They look really big, but still it's fun. And as I'm looking at him, I'm like, he looks a little scary, but he's still cute. It's got a little bit of glue right here on his nose. Um, but I think she's going to enjoy them and they're slippers. So she can wear these <laughs> with that little uh, onesie that I got her. I think those are so cute. And then I also ordered on Amazon. I'll link that down below also, or as well. Um, kind of like Lilo, but not a hundred percent, but it's this little, like it has a red tube top and the grass skirt. The one at the Dollar Tree was just too thin. Um, and then like the little grass, bracelets and stuff like that. So she's set. She's got a couple different things that she can pick from. These are really soft actually. They feel like really good quality. They do have the hard bottom so they're, she can you know run outside with them on and stuff like that um, but, and like really really soft. It's just like it doesn't look 100% like Stitch. Like see? But I think she's still gonna get a kick out of them. Next up looks like another towel and it's polka dot on one side but what's on it? Oh no it's polka dot. Oh okay. So I, I didn't see anything that I really liked for Rose as far as like characters and stuff that she's into. So I just got this one that has the rainbow. I thought that was really cute that she could kind of use as her own. I like the polka dots as the background or really anybody. It's just, I got one for specifically for Pearl. I did get one or two, a couple for Bryce because he does have friends that are like close neighbors and I know they're gonna be over all the time. So I got a couple for like the boys. And so I saw this one and I was like, okay, I think Rose would like that one. So I went ahead and got that. I mean, they have a ton. The quality feels great. Super thin though, but you know, will work for just the in and out of the pool that they're gonna be doing. Um, but they have like so many towels to pick from. Speaking of towels, this is definitely one for Bryce or for, for the boys. And I'm pretty sure I got more than one style because they had a couple different ones and I couldn't pick. So this one definitely has the gamer feel to it. Look at that controller, the black towel with just the splatters of color. I really, really like that. Super cool. Okay, I know I have several of these in here. I think I ended up picking up four more. I bought one of these, shared them in my last Timu haul. I'm gonna keep these in the car and they are just emergency urinal. So if somebody has to go to the bathroom, if we're like on a dirt road and there's like nothing in sight where we've got a little ways and you can't hold it, I thought this would just be something great to have in an emergency. If something happens to the car, we break down, kids have to go to the bathroom. You know, if you have kids, sometimes they just, they gotta go, they gotta go. You know, when they have to go, they have to go and it's a huge ordeal. So more when they were younger, my kids are all, the, the twins are 10, they'll be 11 in November and Bryce is 12. So they kind of know when to warn me now if they have to go to the bathroom, but I did, I have two right here, but I'm pretty sure I picked up four more because as a family of five here at the house now, I wanted to have one for everybody because they're not reusable. I mean, that you just you dispose them. You don't wash them or anything like that. I'm trying to do this quickly because I know I can be really chatty and my videos can be super long and the size of this haul scares me. Okay, I got this. One is perfect that it's a three pack because we've got three little kitties upstairs, um, but I thought this was really cool. I think they're like chew sticks for cats um, I can't remember if it has like catnip in it or something or what this is, but again, it was a three pack. So I thought that would be great. Definitely having three, we're used to, we have an older cat, Polly. She's 14, almost 15 actually. Um, and we're just not used to like playful cats. So I've had to like stock up on toys, have enough in all the rooms so the cats can just run around and play with each other. So they go ahead and just get these to add to that collection. Hopefully they like them, but 
again, tons of pet stuff on Timua as well. Okay, something I picked up for myself. So I have been just adding to my like hair clip collection and jewelry collection. And last time I got some clips and I also picked up some up from the Dollar Tree. They ended up being a little too big. Oh dang, I can't get this open. There we go. For my hair because my hair is so thin. So I wasn't thinking about that. Like I would start the day with my hair up in a clip and then by the end of the day it would be like falling down because there's just not enough for it to get a good grip on. So these, these are perfect for like when I, ha I have my hair up halfway today in a clip, these are perfect for that. Or if I just want to like pull it up quickly to the sides as I'm, I don't know, doing my makeup or something. These are super cute. I also like the clear container that it comes in. Oh, and they're really soft. So it's got quite a few in here, neutral colors. I've got one that I can show you a little closer, but it's just a tiny, tiny little clip for, like I said, when I put my hair up halfways or something, cause it's, I mean, it's super thin. Like look how much hair I can put in there because of how thin my hair is. So these are perfect. Definitely the right size for me. I'm pretty sure this is a top that I got for Paige. And I would guess she's like a women's small, but again, I upped the sizes just in case. Yeah, this, I don't know, this looks kind of big, but again, she said like feminine. So I thought this was really pretty. Again, the neutral white color it's got this really pretty like almost like a polka dot but it's raised little detail there and then this really pretty so not technically a tank top because it has this little bit of material that will cover a little bit of her shoulder but it's the lace see-through so again if she doesn't like them she can give them to a friend Where, what bag did this come out of oh here it is give them to a friend or um i can see if the girls rose or pearl want to try them on but i picked up quite a few things for her to try and hopefully hopefully she likes a lot of them here's another one i got for her so i guess is not I, I don't know what would you call a neutral color like black white tan brown that kind of may, maybe maybe gray i just saw this and i loved again i was going kind of more of the feminine route this is really pretty. It is a light, like blush pink. It's got the polka dots, the little ruffle on the tank top part here. And I think it ties, yes. And then it, you, she can tie it in a bow right here in the front. This is really, really thin. She'd probably have to wear another like tank top or, tank top or camisole under it. But I just thought that was really, really pretty. So I got that for her to try. And I did get a lot of clothes. Okay, I'm trying to like pick through even though I said I wasn't going to do this. This is also for Paige. I got her a black kind of blousey sleeveless top. Definitely very like business casual. And of course they're going to be a little wrinkled. Um, but this just nice neutral for her to kind of match with whatever she already has. Keeping an eye on Oliver because he brought a ball in here and he's like laying on top of the towels. I mean, I'm gonna wash them all anyway, but I'm trying to make sure he's not actually chewing on my towels, which he was. All right, let me move the towels to over here. And speaking of towels, I knew I had at least two for the boys. So here's the other one that I picked up. And of course, same theme, that gamer theme, but this one was really cool as well. So it's got like the hot, like neon colors with all the controllers on there. So I thought that was really cool. Definitely heavy on the clothing, but I do have some non non -clothed clothing items in here. I saw this again with that mushroom theme and the color being green i picked up for pearl and i really really hope oh my phone is just dinging um i really really hope that it fits her it looks long but she is like by the time she's fully grown i know she's got several more growth spurts in her she's gonna be taller than me same with bryce i think i'm gonna get away with being taller than rose but who knows <laughs> who knows um but i saw this bathing suit and i thought it was really really cute so it is a one piece okay Sorry, my, I'm, I know I've been talking for a while because my camera shut off, it does that. Um, so it is a one piece, but it does have like a little opening in the stomach to make it resemble a two piece also on the back, but they are connected. Other than that, it's just like your typical one piece. 
So it's got the thicker straps here at the top and I just loved it. It's got the mushrooms in a green color that Pearl really likes. It's more of like a high-waisted, which I also like. Doesn't look like it's gonna be cheeky or anything, so it'll, you know, full coverage there other than the middle part. So hopefully this fits well. Um, if not, I'll try to. I know I already showed it to her because I didn't order it until I knew she was gonna like it. Um, but I'll have her try this on like right now. <laughs> and then if it's too big, I can do a little return and ask for a size down. Um, I don't, it's definitely not gonna be too small. So if anything, it'll be a little bit too long, but we shall see. That's one thing with getting, you know, the women's sizes for the girls. I'm pretty sure this is another piece that I got for Paige. Oh, this is not what I thought at all. This is a little weird. So this is where like the quality kind of comes in for what you pay for. Um, and it looks really big. So this is, I just got her like a plain tank. I guess she could use this as a camisole, but it's not what I was thinking. I was thinking for like for work for her or school or who knows, but it's, it feels like it's going to come apart when you wash it. Like, like if I pull too quickly, it's going to come apart or pull too strong. It's going to come apart, but we've got that. I'll probably, I don't know. I don't know if this is something that I want to wrap and have her open for her birthday. Ooh, it also looks really big. Like I should have got a small in this, but I might return this. Not quite happy with the way that looks. So just, you know, I'm always honest with you guys. I'm not a hundred percent with that piece, but it will be in the description box if you guys want to check it out. All right, here's another piece that looks a little different from what it looked like online. Oliver definitely wants to play. Like, he keeps bringing me his ball. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to like this. I don't know about this one. Also looks really, really big. What size? Is this a medium? Like, it looks so big. Yep, that's a medium. Okay, so this is that pink color that I really like in that other top that I got. But I didn't realize. I thought it was just gray dots, not silver. So that... That's definitely not her style. <laughs> the top is super cute, very feminine. I mean, it almost looks like it would fit me. Oh my gosh. And this is a medium and I'm an extra large. So yeah, and this is a little too much for me. It looks too young for me just because it's like a metallic silver on there and not gray. So I don't know, maybe, yeah, this would be too big on Pearl too, but probably return this one, but it's super cute. It's just not the style that I know that she is looking for, nor is it um, my style either. So really cute though. Lots of feminine details in there. Super cute. Love the pink color, but probably going to be returning this one as well. Okay. This is something fun that I saw that I just picked up um, for myself. I am definitely, I've tried going the digital route as far as using a digital planner just to save paper. Um, I bought like a digital notebook where you can keep everything. Oh my gosh, I put my phone on silent, but my watch is still dinging. Um, but I bought like a digital notebook where I can keep pages saved and I can like erase pages and just use it to jot things down. But I am a pen and pencil or pen and paper type of girl. Um, so I saw these pens and <laughs> Look at them, they're coffee. Oh, this is upside down. I'm opening it upside down, let me show you. How cute, this would be really cute to gift somebody. If you were doing like a coffee theme, a coffee cup, a notepad to a teacher maybe, um, or a like a coworker or something like that. Super, super cute. Um, somebody, a friend who likes to plan, has a planner, that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and open these up. It is a four pack. And I'll show you the pens. That's so cute. Has a coffee cup on them. I'm pretty sure they all write black. Oh, they are all different prints on them. I'll just show you one. But it's a four pack in there. Super, super cute. It has the little plastic on the tip so the ink doesn't go anywhere. It has a soft grip right here. These are super cute. I hope they write well. I was going to see if I had any paper around. Oh, I guess I could write on this box. Hold on. I'll write on the box and see. Oh, this isn't the one that I pulled the stuff off of, is it? There we go. Okay. Oh. 
There we go. I don't know if I can write. Hi. <laughs> so it writes really good. There you go. Nice. I don't know how it feels like on paper, but I like these. It's the li it's the little things that make me happy that get me. Oh, I don't even need to put those back in there because I'm just gonna put them in my little pen dish. But the packaging is super cute too. But I love coffee, so of course I had I had to grab those pens. Okay, this is a set that I picked up that will probably only work for Pearl. Um, but I don't know. Maybe no. There's no way it's gonna work for Miss Rose. Um, pretty sure I got medium in this too. Yeah, so this was a three pack. So I got all three little outfits for one price. You don't get to, mm, it might have had a different color combo, but I can't, I'm not 100% certain if it did or not, but I liked these ones. So it had like the coral pink, the nude, or really it's like a vanilla color. Um, and then this like turquoise green blue color. So it's got shorts. Yeah, these are definitely going to be nice and comfy for Pearl to wear to run around in. Maybe a little big, we shall see. Um, but she, I mean, she's like the size of a young woman right now. I mean, she's just she, like I said, she's gonna be taller than me. Um, but shorts, all the same style, and then same colors. She can mix and match or wear them all together. But these like sporty tank tops they are more of a crop so there's gonna be a little bit of skin showing but we live in texas and if this summer is gonna be anything like last summer which who knows but we the majority of summer we had like two months of over 100 degrees like just hot so the girls are gonna want to be in nice breathable clothing and comfortable you know if they're gonna be spending any time outside so went ahead and got that i thought this was again like looked very sporty nice and cute, very thin, breathable. So hopefully that fits her because she can, you know, run around in that. Okay. <laughs> this is actually what prompted um, this Timu haul. So Bryce sent me a link. He knows, you know, the kids, the kids know what I'm filming and stuff like that. They see things that get delivered to the house, but he sent me a screenshot of this ring and I have no idea if this is going to fit him or not. So hopefully it will, but this was the only size that it was available in and I just went for it. I was like, if anything, it'll fit his thumb. Cause I mean, it fits mine. It's a little loose, but I don't think it's gonna, it's not gonna fall off. So this is a size nine and I think it was called like a dragon, a dragon ring or something like that. They had different colors, but he really likes the black and the red together. So. I did go ahead and get that for him <laughs> because it's rare that I can find things for him because he's just into video games. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the stuff that he likes to do is actual like experiences and stuff. Not so much like he doesn't care about clothes like the girls um, or, you know, fashion accessories and things like that. So when he sent this to me, I was like, oh, I'm getting that for you, buddy. I'm going to get it for you. I think it was under a dollar as well. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm excited about this. Hopefully it works, um, but this is for my car and mainly for when I'm having to like carry a bunch of, or like load my car up with a bunch of stuff. So like I mentioned, we're going on a road trip soon and there's a few things. We're going to go see Paige as part of our road trip and she, when she moved out, she only took what could fit in her car. So we sold a bunch of her furniture. She just did not want that. She didn't want to take with her. Um, she took what she really wanted, but she had to leave a bunch of stuff here that couldn't fit in her car. So I'm actually filling up my car to take that to her, but we're going to be gone for so long and making so many different stops. We're going to a specific like outlet mall that I know we're gonna be doing some shopping in. So I was like, how can I fit more in my car without like covering all of this up? Still feeling comfortable. So I saw this and I was like, we're gonna give it a try. It hooks to, so the inside of my car and you guys probably, I'm hoping I already have my car organization video out yet. I haven't filmed it yet though. So you might've already seen this in there, but it goes on the inside of the car on the ceiling and it's like a net that I can just hook up and store things in. So who, hopefully it works, but for the price, I was like, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. Oliver's trying to eat the cat toys. No, sir. 
that's not for you. You have your own toys. I think this is the last possible piece of clothing. Who knows? Oh, my foot is falling asleep. Pins and needles. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a skirt for Paige. I stuck with black because I was just like, eh, she wants the neutral. The black skirts can go with anything. So this is another skirt. Kind of like skater style, it feels like. It's got the thick band here, but it does have this piece that she can tie into a bow. So we'll see. I don't know. If she's like, yeah, mom, I don't like any of that stuff. <laughs> it is what it is. I hate buying clothes for her, but that's what she asked for. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try my best. So I did get this. And I'm kind of going off of what she wore when she was still living at home. Who knows how her style has changed. Um, but a lot of these pieces I know Pearl will probably want if she can fit into them. If Paige is like, mm, good try mom, but no. <laughs> I fully expect that to happen. But like, I mean, I tried, right? I tried. Okay, I got another set of nails. I have not tried the ones that I got yet in the last haul, but these just spoke to me. They are super, super cute. And they're gonna be great for summer if they work out. But, oh gosh, can you guys see? They're, so they're a nude, like a see-through nail. So it's gonna look great. It's gonna look like my nail, hopefully. But it has little lemons drawn on there. And not on all of them, they're different. So like some of them have like two little lemon slices. Um, there's some nails where it, like the whole nail is a lemon slice. There's other nails where it looks like a French manicure and it's just yellow at the tip. So I'm excited. I think they're super cute and hopefully they look good on. But I did have a few of you guys reach out. I think some comments were made as well as a lot of you guys know to just reach out on Instagram because that's where I comment back. I'm horrible at comments here on YouTube because Instagram just is easier all the way around. Um, so a lot of you guys reach out to me on Instagram, which I love chatting with y'all. And I had several people ask specifically about the nails from Timu and I just I haven't tried them yet. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I try them. Okay, I can't remember if this was like a set or if I ordered these separately, but these are super cute too. Another set of hair clips in the little clear container. And I'm hoping I can get this sticker off without too much trouble. But these ones are not claw clips, they're like, oh my dog is barking at something with a ball in his mouth. <laughs> so same like color combo as the other ones, super soft, small, perfect for my hair. I spent a little bit of time, but <laughs> I had, you know, mom life. Um, next thing, I got these. And you're probably like, what the heck are those? So I'm gonna open, wait, is this? Okay, yeah, it's just, I got two pieces. Um, but these are sushi rolling mats. And my daughter Pearl loves sushi. So does my husband, Mark. Oh, cool. Okay, hopefully they work. They feel a little tough, but they are, you know, brand new. So we'll, we'll see how these work, but um, like I said, they really like sushi. So I thought they could they could try these. It'd be something that they could do together. Also Bryce, my son Bryce, is starting to like sushi. So these are little mats. They just put everything down, layer it up, and then use this to kind of fold the sushi together. So I got two of them. They're like one for the price, but I got two that way they could do them together. What is in, oh, okay. I'm. I'm excited about these. Hopefully they look good. I got some like fake floral, faux floral things. Um, Brittany in her last, I almost got those and I, I might still, I'm not sure yet, um, but she got some tulips I believe and they looked from Timu. She shared them in a Timu haul that she has up on her channel previously and they look so good. So I was just perusing their faux stems and everything. Oh, I don't want to undo all of these. And I saw this like pompous grass and this, ooh, this is, oh man, I am covered. This is very messy. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. Um, but this is a big set. It's got lots of different pieces in here. I'm trying like slowly to move it because I do have a couple errands to run and I wasn't planning on changing, but now apparently I might have to, I might have to change unless I can really wipe this all off of me, but it's very, very messy. Um, it's coming apart for sure. But 
this is kind of like the colors that I have, like the neutral colors in my dining room. And I always have a vase on the table, but I don't always have fresh flowers. So I thought it would be nice to have something for when I don't have fresh flowers to keep it in there. So it still looked complete, if you know what I mean. So I got this set of pompous grass. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Again, I just liked the neutral colors also. I could like add separate sticks in here or stems if I wanted to per holiday season, that kind of thing. Um, and where this stays all the time, or I can just pull this out, but it still looks neutral and will go for any time of year. So I'm excited about that. Got myself another pair of earrings. I mean, just the amount and the price on their stuff. And I mean, the quality is great. I love these. So these, this actually feels like the same material as the hair clips but i just got these black earrings they both look exactly the same i loved the shape of them just something a little uh, different to have on hand this is definitely smaller than i thought i think there was a choice on size for this also and i thought i picked the biggest one but maybe i didn't oh and it's not put together um, I wasn't for sure if it was like gonna come in pieces or if I had to put it together, but this is also, this is something else that I got for the cats. Oh yeah, there's like hardware and stuff in here. So I will try to pop up a picture, um, but here's the ball. Actually, that, that looks fine, the size, um, but it's a ball that has a little stand, but it does turn. So as the cats are like scratching, using their claws, you know, feeling good, kind of massaging their claws, it it turns so they can just spin it and play with it so hopefully they enjoy that but and I only got one they're gonna have to share this not everything do I buy in threes they have, they have to share some of the toys but I thought that was really cool um, and hopefully they enjoy that they kind of have the run of the upstairs of the house we have a gate on the top of our stairs so they don't have to like worry about Oliver just coming up there whenever because they're a little well one of them is fine with Oliver. The other two, the boys, are more like, mm, I'm not quite sure if I like you yet or not. So we put the gate up just so they feel more confident. So they have like the run of upstairs. Okay, I got some stuff here. So in my last haul, I shared a little, and the kids are outside now riding scooters. So I shared a music box that I got um, that was Jurassic World because Pearl loves dinosaurs she likes the jurassic world or not jurassic world jurassic park she likes the jurassic park movies and the jurassic world movies and i was going to save it for her birthday but i already gave it to her that's one thing that i have i have a hard time if i buy stuff and i know that the kids friend whoever is really going to enjoy it i can't wait for that occasion that i bought it for i i do it a lot with mark too like we don't gift each other things during the holidays because i can never hold on to things long enough whenever i find something that i know he's gonna like i just i buy it and i give it to him like he got, I guess it's, I don't know, is that a love language where you like to shop for other people? I enjoy it. Um, so I gave that to Pearl and she like flipped out over it. She plays it every night. It's like her thing before she goes to bed. She plays it, I hear it upstairs in her room. So I peruse, they have a ton of these music boxes, all sorts of stuff. They've got anime ones. They have, I mean, just really, they have some Disney ones. They have all sorts. So I was not for sure. I didn't want to ask all the kids like what they like specifically because I wanted it still to be a surprise. So I got a couple different ones and they're just going to have a good time with it. So as far as anime is concerned, I got this one that is, and I don't, I don't like anime. Oh, it's not going to focus on it. It's looking at my face. Can you see it? No, it doesn't like it. Um, but this is one punch. Um, or one, not one punch, one piece. And like I said, I don't, I don't know anything about anime. All I know. I have no idea, but that's supposed to be like the, the song or something or music in the anime. Um, but I'm, I'm not a huge fan of anime. I don't enjoy watching it. I watch it cause the kids enjoy it. They ask me to watch it, but it's not my thing. So I don't know much about it, what it's, you know, any of that. So I got that one. Um, but then I also got one that I know Bryce likes. I just, I know he has a different favorite right now. Let's see, I don't know which one is in here either. Um, so I got a total of four. So I got the one piece one, what's this one? Okay, here, here's the other one. And I know he likes this one. So 
Demon Slayer. If you guys have Demon Slayer uh, lovers in your house, yeah. So I know this one because I've watched the whole like series with him. So I got that one for him. Stick it real quick in here, and I'm. I'm not holding on to these. I'm not even going to say like, I'm going to hold on to these. No, I'm just going to give them to him because Pearl has hers and I think they all love pearls. So, okay. And then I got two more here. What did I get? I know which one I got Rose. Oh, okay. So I got this one for Paige and I don't spirit flying something. I don't know the name of it. It doesn't say it on here, but I know this is so we do movie nights. And when Paige was still here, obviously she was in the rotation. The, the kids get, have turns picking a movie for the night because it's impossible for all of us to agree on one. So the kids know like, hey, it's Bryce's night tonight. Whatever he picks, we're watching it. Either if they, the girls really don't want to watch it, then they can go do something else. Um, but Mark and I, we, that's our time. Like it's, it's movie night. Um, so one of the movie nights, Paige picked this movie. I don't, and I don't remember what, Spirited Away? Maybe, I, oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but I know she likes this. So I went ahead and picked this one up for her and I'm gonna wrap it, probably have it be from the kids cause I love these so much, but this is gonna be for Paige for her birthday. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is the one and she like taught herself this song on the piano. So I went ahead and got that for her and then yeah, okay. I was like, why do I have four here? I couldn't remember all of them that I picked because they had a ton. Like I almost got one for Mark too because he likes Dragon Ball Z um, and they had one, but I was like, oh, he, he's not gonna appreciate it as much as the kids would. So this is the one, last one of these music boxes. Oh, the whole thing is dark, cool. This one doesn't look like any of the other ones. Very neat. This is the one I got for Rose because out of everything, this is really the only one that I thought she would like. Um, so this is Harry Potter. Um, her and I are both obsessed with the Hogwarts Legacy game. It says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Okay, camera died, so I need to wrap this up. Um, but the one that I got for Rose is the Harry Potter one. It says uh, Harry Potter on the top here. It has Gryffindor, Quidditch, Hogwarts and then always on the side. I thought about getting this as a tattoo, just not 100% yet, sure yet. Um, and then on the inside, it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. I'm excited about this one too because I like Hogwarts and Harry Potter. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's cool. I like <laughs> Bryce is inside now, he hears me. Um, yeah, I got, I got the Harry Potter one for Rose because they didn't really have a good selection of other ones for her. So I got the Harry Potter one for Rose. And then speaking of Bryce, he's already been down or he's already been in here and I gave him the two music ones that he likes. Oh, he's, oh. are you gonna say hi? Go down. Hello. <laughs> um, and he corrected me. So the, the one that I got for Paige is not Spirited Away, although that is one that we've watched, yes. right? It is Howl's Moving Castle, which is another one that she liked. And that is the song that she taught herself on the piano. So that's, that's what's in this box, Howl's Moving Castle. Okay. All right, so with that, that's everything that was in this box. I do have another order coming, um, but I feel like this video is already long enough, so I'll just save that. And maybe I'll like, that'll be a video that I am able to pre-film and set to go live while we're on a road trip. So I still have content coming to you guys. So be on the lookout for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely a variety. I got a little bit of everything going on here, but that just shows you what is all what all Timu has to offer. Not sponsored, not one of my Timu videos has been sponsored. Um, yes, they have reached out to me, but I've said no, because I just, I like to spend my own money on stuff so I can give you like an accurate, honest review. Sometimes sponsored videos, they require certain things and I didn't want to do that. So <laughs> with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Give this video a big thumbs up. One last shout out to Brittany. I will have her info in the description box. So make sure you go over, tell her I sent you, send her some love, see what she got on Timu. I'm excited to see what she got. If you guys are new coming over from Brittany's channel, again, hi, my name is Vanessa and I am so glad that you guys are here. So with that, that's it for this Timu haul. I will have another one in a week or two, um, but 
I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.